Good morning, everyone. Well, today I'm back with another layout for 30 days of sketches, and this is day seven, 30 days of sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. And um, down below there will be a link to anybody who is um, doing YouTube videos, and there'll be one link, and it will take you to everybody, and so like you can just, if you want to go see day one, you can go see all the day ones because it should stay on each of them. And I haven't actually been over there this time, this, this particular season. But, um, and our sketch artist today is Darla Weber, day seven, like I said. And now it looks like maybe her layout is matted, or maybe it's matted here because it looks like this is just as thick, so I'm not sure. And, um, and otherwise she's got like a little detail going around here. So she's got one large picture here and then four smaller ones and then she has four of the smaller ones here. So this one's probably a three by, or a four by six and these are probably three by fours. And she has a title going across here or that could be journaling area, maybe it's not even photos. So, you know, whatever your interpretation is. And then she's got flowers here or an embellishment and they go over these pictures here a little bit. So, um, and I'm actually gonna be very close to this exactly, except for I'm gonna flip it. So this page is gonna be over here and this page is gonna be over here. And so anyhow, I have my oldest granddaughter at her senior prom and um, this is her and her boyfriend, of course. And so, you know, there's like a thousand pictures. <laughs> I think these, these were just my favorites. But um, I do have a few other ones that I will be scrapbooking too. So um, anyway, this is, these are for the one side, and these are for the other side. So um, because of the way that they are facing, I wanted the picture over here so they're facing in so that's what my determination de that's what determined where my layout was okay and on her, the sketch it's kind of rounded here where the detail is so I was going to round the corner and then I thought oh I've got that fancy um, I think it's called like Victorian I don't know if it actually says it on here no, um, it's from Creative Memories and it was called like Victorian Corner or something. So I'm gonna use this and I, I love how that looks. And I'm just gonna do it on the outside corners. Oh, and my paper is called Midnight Spell by Ciao Bella. Okay, so and I've taped these two papers together since I want these to be butted up next to each other. Um, you know, it's just easier. Okay, and I'm going to shoot for the middle. Oh, and there's Cinderella here. Th these papers are just adorable. You know, it's so funny because I told my one daughter, um, who's still got the one with the twins, so they're still trick-or-treating. I said, oh, have Alex dress up like a, like Cinderella so I can buy this paper. <laughs> and then um, she's like, okay, I'll see what I can do. And then, um, you know, what, me and Brenna, we were looking at dresses, and, I, and she's wore like, you know, whatever the fashion is of the day, you know, where they're wearing those um, skin tight <laughs> slinky dresses <laughs> that's what I want to call them and I said oh I'd love it if you wore like a big beautiful ball gown and and she I think she had like um, twice she had pink and then she did have a blue oh and here's the stagecoach and Cinderella on this one and so anyhow um, so I would love it if you wore a blue ball gown and 
so it's like we were looking at them and then it's like we looked at some that were really pretty but I don't remember if she if this is the day that she picked it out or not because we looked at several and then um, it's like I get to see her dress it's like oh my gosh it's, it's like that's the dress I would have picked if I would have picked it out for you <laughs> so I was pretty excited about that okay so um, in now all the embellishments are on these pieces of paper like this and so I've been cutting them out and one of the this paper here had these, these like little details here it looks like egg and dart crown molding so um, anyhow I'm gonna use that up here and I gotta tell you it was so hard to cut that on my um, you know on my paper cutter okay where is the glue I know I have it here because I looked okay it was hiding behind the tape and you know I have a commitment about <laughs> I want to use tape because gluing is a commitment but I'm gonna have to glue because it's too skinny to tape Okay. Oh, I should have probably turned it upside down, but I'm already started. Okay, so I'm going to put this right up to the edge there. And just line it right up to the edge. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing all across here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I guess that wasn't much of a commitment. <laughs> I can see that there is glue there. I'm going to have to kind of double it, I guess. Um, I guess since I've cut it, it's kind of, it's kind of, um, like when you die cut it, it gets like hollow and thicker on the edges. I don't know if that's what caused that or not. Ah. Uh, I was going right over the paper. Oh, I'm totally over the paper. Now I probably wiped half it off on my finger. Okay, I'm going to hold it for a second. Because that's where I want it. Okay, I think that's good there. Okay, actually I think I'm going to put the glue there. Okay, and then this one here is going to butt up against it. And then I'm going to stop it right here. And got my little scissors. Might have to turn it around. We'll get closer to it or something. Okay. Okay, and I want it to cut right there. Oh, I'm just not brave enough now. That commitment issue. <laughs> Okay, I think that's the spot. Okay, this time I'm going to put it here. Yes, I love that. Could have cut it off a little bit closer. Do that. And I think I'm going to leave it for now. Okay, so I still have that little piece I could do something with. Oh, and if I can turn that around. Okay. I'm wiggly. When it, 
I thought when I went through the papers I thought oh I gotta remember to use that detail because it's so pretty looks like I pulled this down further but it's above the paper but that's okay because you know when it's in the album it's gonna be in the middle and you won't be able to tell okay so right there and then I need to cut it about there Sounds like, or it smells like the husband burning something. He's taking down part of the garden. He got about a um, handful of beans, so he's done. <laughs> it's like I'm done with that. Okay. Now I have this eraser. Can I erase that glue? Nope, not really. Okay. So I guess I better get over that. <laughs> I just love that detail. It's so pretty. Okay, so I've got this little tiny bit that I can use for something else. Okay. And then I have, I've got these little tiny, oh, they would probably call them like a rosette in architecture. So um, two of them are smaller than the other two, so I think the ones at the top, I'll use the smaller ones. And I'm going to put these just right where the point meets. Now I feel like I'm decorating <laughs> a wall. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to put one down here. Um, I cut out another one, but I think my embellishments are going to cover the other one. So I'll just save it till the end. And if it looks like I need it, I'll use it, but I don't think I'm going to need it. So I just thought that would be a cute little detail. I'll save that for later if I need it. Okay, and now I probably can do some taping. Now, normally when I do like a more formal layout, which this is, I like to mat them, but because this is, um, it's going to be pretty tight, so it'll be kind of like it's the matting because I don't want to take up room with that, and part of this is going to overlap this um, per her design, which I just love. I think this works out perfectly. Okay, so I'm going to have it, I'm going to put these down, and then I'll overlap with this one. Or do I want to put that down? Yeah, because this is the main picture, so I'd rather have it overlapping the smaller ones. Okay, so. And so far, all I've done is scrapbook this girl, I think. <laughs> but that's all right. I was, you know, she's the first one. I've been trying to get her caught up. So I'm going to put that close to the edge, the inside edge. And then I'm just going to double check that that is straight if I can find my invisible ruler. Okay, and it looks pretty straight. Okay, then I'm just going to put this really close. I'm leaving just like maybe an sixteenth of an inch so it kind of feels like it's matted.
and so the ones that were taken outside I tried to get, keep on this but there's there's actually more that were taken outside <laughs> but I did want that on this side okay I think that's straight there they look like they're straight okay oh and my um, Epson photo printer when I print them out the one on the right always ends up um, like wider than the one on the left so I always have to trim down when I after I do all the printing I have to trim down the one to make it the same size as the other one Okay, so I'm just going to do that little bit of an overlap. And when I first started, there's a like a gargoyle over here, and I tried to keep that in the picture, but then um, by the time I got done um, designing the page, it's like um, I cover, end up covering up the corner anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that little bit of space. Um, I think on her she's got a little bit bigger space but um, I end up having to use that space. My photo might be a little bit bigger but it's a, um, what is it, is it a 5 by 7 Yeah, it was a 5 by 7 that I cut down a little bit. So, okay. And then um, I see how these ones are a little bigger than these ones. I do that because the ones that are bigger look heavier. And so you see I still have two more that were taken outside and then I have the four that were taken inside. And the place where they took their pictures is just gorgeous. Okay, and again, I'm just going to have these line up with the one next to it. Because I'm going to leave a space over here and put embellishments like um, like Darla did. This looks crooked to me, but I think it's because of that picture <laughs> was not is not straight because it's just laying there. So again, I tried to make it sequential, and I put the one here where they're kissing on the end on purpose, and you'll see why when you get to see the embellishments. because I'm trying to stay in theme with the Cinderella. <laughs> oh, the washi tape, I, I kind of stuck it to my skin a little bit so it wouldn't stick so hard because the other day I tore the paper. Okay, I think it looks all straight. And if I keep them turned upright, I'm doing good because it's like I flip them over and it's like, oh, is that the right way? Okay. It's so funny because um, this guy, he's just smiling all the time. And she had one boyfriend. It's like, <laughs> you'd have thought he was at a funeral every day. Every place I went, and I'm so glad she got one that smiled. <laughs> okay, so now for the fun part, getting to embellish. Okay, and do I have all my pieces? Oh, one of my pieces must have got away. Let me see here. Oh, there it is. Okay. 
Did you say embellishments? Yes. Embellishments, <laughs> embellishments, Terry. Show us where to put them now. <laughs> I guess that's what I get for not letting them sing. <laughs> okay, I want this over here on the edge. Okay, so I've got one of those beautiful windows. And I've got the carriage, you know, that was it made out of a pumpkin. <laughs> I thought, oh, she should have um, did some pictures in some raggy clothes so I could really do the Cinderella story. <laughs> and sat by the fireplace. <laughs> guess I can't have everything right. <laughs> I think there was a picture of her shoes too, but they weren't glass slippers. Okay, you know, this is committing here, putting glue on this. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to let it go over the, let's see, I think I'm going to slide up a little bit more. I'm going to let it go over the pictures. Okay, and then um, some of the beautiful flowers. I'll tell you this collection has gorgeous flowers. Of course, they're mostly blue. There's this sheet of them. And then what, where's the ones that I cut out? or the collection of flowers. Oh, I don't know. I'll show you later if I find them. <laughs> okay. Now at least I got the um, these dimensionals on it ahead of time, but I still don't have them pulled, all this stuff pulled off them. Okay. And I'm just gonna wrap it, kind of wrap it around the bottom of the window here. And the butterflies are so tiny, I'm not gonna put dimensionals on them. I'm just folding them. Let's see, I gotta make sure this one goes this way, yeah. So I got this one going this way. And this one here I'm gonna have going from this side. I'm still gonna put it on the window because otherwise you don't really see it. Okay. I'm gonna go over to this other side. My camera turned off on me. Okay, so I pulled out those flowers. Look at it, aren't they just gorgeous? I love them. Okay, so. Oh, I got a little drop of glue there. That's all right, because I'm gonna cover it up here in a minute. Okay, so I'm using this, one of those windows again, and it's got a cut out here. And where's my tape? Okay, and I'm gonna put that over here. And I'm gonna let it overlap the picture overlap the pictures. Okay. And then I have, I gotta check my cheat sheet, <laughs> my cheat picture. Okay, and then I got one of those beautiful florals. I just love them. Okay, and I'm just gonna have it overlap the the window 
and then I have the clock and it's just about ready to strike midnight so that's why I thought this was their quick kiss before she had to run off and you know drop her glass slipper <laughs> I want that tucked under, yeah, I want that tucked underneath the flowers just slightly. And I do want the clock to look like it's straight up and down, or, okay, I want that there too. Okay, I think that's, I don't, this number isn't right or something. Okay, I'm going to leave it right there. And then, um, oh, and I had this little detail from something I had cut out earlier when I did the first layout. And so I'm going to put that at the bottom of the little window. So it's like another detail. Okay. And then we have the glass slipper on a pillow. And it's so pretty. I just love it. <laughs> I know um, over at Ginger's Corner, she had asked, like, um, what was everybody's favorite Disney princess? And a lot of, and well, a few of them picked out Cinderella. I didn't like, read them all, I don't think. But yeah, that's always been my favorite ever since I was little. And I think I've seen every Cinderella story. Okay. So, got the glass slipper and I'm going to put it right here like it's um, on display, you know, because, you know, the prince had it for a while until he hunted her down. Okay, and then I've got another butterfly. And I'm going to put it right on the clock. Okay, and what else? Oh, and I, I don't remember what I called the first one. But there is more, so I just, I love the title, Midnight Spell, and I have this from the cover, and I think it's really cute, and it also has a slipper on it, so I'm going to actually just put that right up here. Maybe I'll actually let it overlap the picture, because I thought that is such a cute title. So, that's what Chow Bella called it. I love it. Oop, I want to slide it down just a little bit so I can still see that crown molding. And that looks centered pretty good there. And I do have, I know, a couple more pictures that I'll be scrapbooking later on. Oh, and then let me put this on. I have some... Um, they're gems from Gina Marie, and I just got them. And they're aquamarine, so they look perfect with her dress. So I'm going to spread those around. Maybe a few here by the butterfly. I forgot i got to kind of wiggle that off there to get the so I'm gonna put a few there well two two fits <laughs> and maybe I'll stick one in here and some around the flowers you know they're little I can use a lot As long as I can leave them there. 
Okay. Put one here in the center of that. I think I need another one stuck in the flowers. Do I need one in the middle of the shoe? Mm, maybe not. <laughs> okay. It then it just looked so common. <laughs> Move over here because I want some by the flowers. I like that. And I'm going to put a couple behind this butterfly like it left a little trail of gems over here too and maybe a couple up here by the title I think I'm going to slide these a little closer together so I can put three behind this butterfly too. I'm going to pull it off without it coming apart. Okay. Okay. So that is it. Oh, maybe I got to have one behind the carriage. Okay, now I think I'm done. Okay, so I think this worked perfect, and I'd like to thank Darla for that. And go over and check out um, the other people that have done videos, or and if you're if you're um, do, playing with the 30 Days of Sketches, um, let me know so I can check out your pictures or your videos. So have a wonderful and blessed day, and I will see you tomorrow. Close-ups at the end. Bye-bye.